Hello guys, this is Paula and I am here today um, to do a little bit of crafting or playing or whatever you want to call it. I'm, um, I haven't done much since I've been sick and since the holidays except doing catch up when I was off video. So I've been very, very busy even though it has looked like I haven't been active at all. So, I'm going to be doing a video soon that will show you all the new stuff that I have put in my Etsy shop. Now, there's still it's still lacking about five or six things. So, give it a few days and then go check it out and see what all's over there. I I know it's been pretty bare and I'm trying to take care of that and I'm trying to take care of the fact that I can't move in my room. And I'm doing some de-stashing, <laughs> getting rid of stuff. So today, I I just I don't really have a plan. I I I'm wanting to do some stuff with some uh, cardboard. I've just uh, let me tell you how I did this. I just took my sprayer and my um, my awl and just kind of dug at these and pulled at them. And some of and actually. I got lucky. Most of them came off really easy. I don't know if it just happened to be this particular cardboard or what, but I um, I just thought we could play and see what we could come up with here with the cardboard. Now, I'm going to put gesso on all of them first, and I haven't had this gesso out in a while, so hopefully it's not dried up. You know, you never know about stuff like that. Let me make sure my brush is not hard as a rock. You know how that is, too. I, You know, I brought out my... Um, I'm just going to kind of... I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm just going to brush over um, the gesso. With the gesso, you know, um, just so it's not so brown and we can stamp on it or whatever it is we want to do. Now, I'm going to leave the edges so it doesn't look so perfect. I don't want it to look just perfect. I want it to be, you know, I thought what we'd do is collage on it. So, in some way or another. So, I don't know how that will end up looking, but, um, yeah. So I'm just kind of moving them over out of our way. I have no plan. So if you're not doing anything, why don't you pull out some goodies and craft along with me? Um, I've had, you know, I decided that this week I was going to do things I haven't been able to do. Like I had a class I wanted to take. Well, I'm not quite finished with that class. But when I am, I will show you the results. I've been really happy taking that class. And I'll tell you, it was one of Tracy Fox's classes. So, uh, and I'll give you the link whenever I um, finish the class and I put up the video. I'm very pleased with the results of my class. And I have to tell you, it's the first time I've ever taken an online class, and it was a good experience. Tracy made it a very good experience, and she, very, very professional. And, um, yeah, she knows how to teach, that's for sure. Okay, so, I am just brushing the gesso on. No biggie, no brain, no special brain to do this, really no, not much of a brain at all to just brush this on, right? And then I thought we could just collage. And I, you know, I hope I got out the stuff that I need to get out to do this. Um, <laughs> Cause I don't know if I did or not. Um, today we woke up to ice and snow yeah, that's always fun, but it was already melting. So I'm glad because that way people going to work didn't have, you know, bad experience this morning. 
Now this one's just cardboard. I don't know if I'll even use it, but let's go ahead and put gesso on it just in case. You never know. Okay, so I'm going to put that paintbrush up, cover up the gesso, wipe off my hands, and now I thought, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Let me look through my lens so I don't have to worry about it the whole time. Well, you're seeing pretty well. Now, there's other things that we could do, such as modeling paste. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to step right over here and get my modeling paste. So, hold still. Don't go anywhere. I, uh, I forgot to get it. I meant to get it. <laughs> you know how that is. Um... Yeah, let me grab it. I'm going to grab a couple things while I'm over here. How about my gesso and modeling paste. Let me see what else is in here that we can't live without. And, okay, I guess that's good for now. I don't keep it right next to my desk because I don't use it every day. And hopefully it is um, <laughs> still in, still good, right? Because I don't use it every day like I used to. Now I do have a tendency to, um, or I used to have a tendency to use it a lot because I, um, yeah, that's still good far as my, ooh, that needs some new paper on it. Sorry, guys. You know how it is when you haven't been into something for a while and it's all gunky. Let me grab some more. Um, I'm looking to see if I have, yeah, I've got some more. I keep uh, parchment paper. Uh on my lids just if you don't know that little hint keep parchment paper on your lids and you won't have as much trouble with them opening and so I do that and sometimes you have to replace it so this one when I opened it it was just falling apart <laughs> so we'll just replace it right next have it ready in a minute Okay, so let's see what this modeling paste looks like. Oh my goodness, it's been a while. Now there's some things you can do with modeling paste. You can add color to your modeling paste. Uh, oh, this is still great. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm thinking, do we want to stencil with the modeling paste? And put some different textures on here first. I don't want to put a lot of big textures. I'm thinking like just, um, let me get my stencil book. I didn't get any of this out because I thought, well, we can talk it out as we go here. And I'm going to set my book down right here. Let these things dry. Um... Okay, I'm looking here to see what I think will look good with with that. Now, you can never go wrong with Tim Holtz. You know, you can almost always, or a small, a very small polka dot, or a small, um, anything with small holes does better with what I'm wanting to do than most things and you're probably thinking what are you talking about well like um like for instance this would would do pretty good so we'll take that out the checks um this this one always does pretty good too um i'm just looking at what I'm accustomed to seeing do well. And uh, these little hearts will do well. 
And then one more. Uh, this polka dot. Now, the thing about using texture paste that's important for you to know is you have to get it right into water. And I am not prepared to do that today. So we will pick one of these and then I'll just drop it in the bathroom sink, which is right next to me. Um, I'm trying to decide. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do, we'll do a couple and then decide. Like, for instance, let's just try it on this one first because it doesn't have anything on it. And um, the thing that's nice about uh, texture paste is you can, you can just do whatever. Now, I don't, I don't want it all over. You know, I don't want it in every little spot on here. And you want, you want to flatten it so it doesn't... Um, you know, I'm just kind of doing it random here. See how cool that looks? Yeah. Very cool. The thing is, it's like I just said, you have to... Um, we'll use this one real quick. And then what I'll do is I'll drop them all into the water real fast. And actually, my husband should be home in a minute and I'll just hand them off to him. <laughs> I'll hand them off to him. He's home today doing some errands. He's going to be like, I'm doing errands and I'm here doing things for you at the same time. Hey, if he can, if he can get it done, that's great, right? Ooh, look at that. I like the way that's turned out. Now, we'll do one more with the checks. Let's see. Let me see which one. How about this one? I like the way the checks are turning out. You can, you can, um, I'm kind of doing them along the edges so that we can maybe collage or do, not collage, but, um, when I say collage, I mean like layer, layer on here. Um, whatever we'd like. Put some on this edge right here. I'm hoping my husband will come in and just rescue my little stencils. Okay, that one wasn't quite as beautiful, but it, um, it worked. I'm gonna lay this right here on the side until Rick gets here. In a minute, he should be here in a minute, and I'm just lay that right there. And we're gonna move this one over, move this one in. I'm thinking on this one, let's do some polka dots. Now, I like the polka dots whenever you do this because they show up real well too. But now these are pretty big polka dots for this size um, cardboard. So we'll see what happens here. I am going to be doing some art journaling. Give me your opinion on if you want to watch some of that. Now this did not turn out as well. See, not quite as well as I would have liked it to. But that's, that's how it is. I mean, you just, you don't know how something's going to turn out until it's, um, had the opportunity to do something. The squares obviously have done better so far. So this time, let's try, I wanna try this Tim Holtz stencil. Now, I'm putting it kind of to one side. I do not know how this one's gonna turn out. <laughs> We're just gonna have to see. Okay. Mostly because it's, there's a lot to it. You know, it's not like it's just, and we're putting it on this lumpy, lumpy stuff. 
really want to make sure when you do this that you hang on to your cardboard because that will ruin the whole project if your cardboard goes flying across the room. Wouldn't be too cool, huh? Now, I'm just doing down to the bottom here. Looks like I got a little bit right here I need to get on the edge. Keep your fingers crossed. You always wanna take the excess off and um, I always lift from the top. Yeah, see, not that great. This sort of thing really, I mean, you can tell what it is, but this sort of thing does better when you just use little designs. So in other words, when you um, use little squares or little circles or little hearts or whatever, which is what we're gonna use on, on this one. So let's use these little hearts and use the little squares again. I really like the little squares the best so far. Let's use the squares on this one. I think it turned out better. Um, and then I have to get this, these in the water. It will run your, your stencils if you don't put it straight into water. So just so you know, I run hot water. Usually when I know I'm going to use them, I had no idea I was going to use them today, obviously. Um, when I know I'm going to use them. I have a dish pan next to me and I just drop them in there and when I'm done, I clean them up. You know, easy peasy. Okay, now scrape off your spatula. And then, let's see. Yeah, and you can put too much on there too. It's gonna tell you that. If you put too much, that makes a big difference too. Yeah, I think this one probably looks the worst of all of them. I wonder if we can make it look better with this square. I mean, what do we got to lose, right? Uh, let me make sure which side. Let's put it on this side. It'll probably flatten some of this out. Hmm, let's go like this. Let's try not to run it completely. Keep hoping I can hear my husband. I think he's pulling in the house. I can hear him in the driveway. <laughs> he's gonna go, what is my crazy wife doing now? Oh yeah, see that just helped it. It made it lots better. So, we're going to do this right here and I'm going to ask my husband to run a sink full of hot water and come back and get my stencils for me he just walked in because they have to soak in hot water so that it doesn't dry hard on them because I forgot to do that forgot to get a pan of water now, these do take a while to dry, but in the meantime, we're going to see if we got them all done. Oh, we still have a couple. We'll do them with hearts. In the meantime, we're going to um, we're going to do some other stuff to put on here. Let's keep our fingers crossed. This little heart stencil has been around. But I tell you, it's been pretty popular. You do have to really feel it because it, it uh, I, as you notice, I'm putting it over the whole little piece of, um, the whole little piece of cardboard. And I'm just using Liquitex from Hobby Lobby, modeling paste, here we go. Now that one's not bad. Okay, so 
I'm going to take that off the edge because anything that's on there is going to dry. Okay. I, st I mean, the little hearts are cute, so we'll do one more with the little hearts. And then we will um, clean up this little bit of a mess and move on to something different. If we can. <laughs> if it will clean up. I'm going to hand this off to my husband in just a minute when he comes back through the door. He has a tendency to be a little bit slow. But he did have his hands full. So hopefully he knows how critical this is. You know, things that are critical to us are not critical to our husbands. Have you guys noticed that? Yeah. My supplies are critical to me. Okay, so that's the last one. Yeah, that one that one did a little better than the first one. So let's wipe off. Let me wipe off my um, lid. And I'm going to hand this off to Rick. These have to be soaked and cleaned or they'll dry hard. Thank you for helping me. Uh, okay, let me move this over. I'm going to wipe off the edge of this bottle because just like it will make the stencils hard, it will make opening the lid impossible next time. So I always clean off the top really well. Probably this lid should have... Um, some of the parchment paper too and I'll I may add that later but I really like to keep it sealed good cuz that's really what keeps it uh, lasting longer and longer so all right so I'm going to move these over needless to say we'll have to decorate these probably in the next video I'm gonna lay these on the parchment paper excuse me just a second I am moving them out of the way. Um, it takes a while for this to dry. And that's one of the things with uh, doing this type of mixed media is you can't, you can't just, you know, jump right into the next part unless you have them done ahead of time. And unfortunately, I have not. Life has not been normal for me, as you know. So, I'm going to scoot that over. So, what I'm going to wipe this off because we do not want that to dry hard on there either. And then, wipe my hands off a little bit and um, go from there. I hope you guys have been having a good day. I hope you've had a good new year so far. I can't believe that we're already toward the end of January. Isn't that crazy? Um, it's, um, just seems like it has flown by, but I guess you would think being sick, it would have made it slow and draggy, but I really, even though I've been sick, I have been in my craft room and I've been doing things that I just haven't had time to do and, um, so, yeah. So, this is going to be part one of this. And then part two will be when we actually decorate. So, I'm going to, I've got this wiped off now. And I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to kind of move it to the side. Let me get one more of these wipes for my hands. Because they're not quite there yet. <laughs> See the, it's like built up on my fingernails. Got to get that off. And then I thought we could um, decide what we want to put on the, um, onto our collaged, or our cardboard pieces. 
Now, I thought what we'd do with them once they're done, they could be, they make great covers on journals. And, um, which you guys know that because I'm sure you've seen people do that. I'm going to set this wet thing to the side and um, pull out some other things here. So I thought what we would do is um, is stamp. I, I finally got my stamp for my coffee. I finally got it re-inked. And I don't have my big ink pad here. But I always like to use a cushion underneath because you get better results. Now, this will be used on the actual cardboard piece when it dries. And we, at the end of this video, we may try to dry one of them with our dryer and um, see how close it gets to being where we could actually use that stamp on some of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what I want to do is I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm going to try with this brand. Good grief. I've got a new stamp. It was very inexpensive. It's one of those, uh, I can't think of the name of that place where you can order a whole bunch of stuff and they're real cheap. And so I don't even know how good this stamp will be. I mean, it could be crappy. You know, it was like $4 or something, something crazy. So I'm looking here to see how well it's going to stamp. But I want to put some unusual, I want to stamp and then um, kind of like put layers onto these. Uh, when I say layers, I mean like, you know, different kinds of fabrics and textures and stuff. Okay, let's just see. Now, like I said, I don't even know if I have this upright. Let's see what it looks like. Well, this is actually the top or the upright. Let's stamp it on a piece of paper so we can see if it is clear or if it's just my imagination that it's not. That maybe it's not clear. Let's stamp on the back of this and see... As, you know, I don't know if you're like me. If it's not a good stamp, it's going to go in the trash, and I'm not going to order from those people anymore, um, especially if it's an inexpensive place, you know. I know my, my coffee had need, needed to be re-inked, and so I got that done. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this on here. And I'm hoping that it might do better where there's not a background. Oh, yeah, that's better, don't you think? Fun. I don't know what I'd do with it, but I think it's fun. It says, uh, it's just kind of a, it's got a little stamp, postage stamp-like thing here. It says, um, first fold here. So, I guess it's kind of some kind of print, like a, a uh, descriptional type print, which, you know, it's fun. If I were doing a butterfly or um, a nature type journal, I think it would look good in that. So, yeah, I like that. Good choice, Paula. Okay, so now I want to I want to stamp up some different things, and I'm going to tell you something in. You know, I did the stamping video a while back and uh, on different textures because uh, I was just kind of um, curious about a lot of it and um, how well it would do on this versus that. And um, I'm going to tell you that I found in wooden stamps that stamping up stamps better than any of them. And... Um, I just, uh, I couldn't believe how clear the clarity of the stamps were. And um, 
yeah so I want to stamp now see it's hard to read on this dictionary I want to stamp um, let's try stamping on some music sheet they have thin lines on their stamps um, but they're very clear see I think with backgrounds they're not as good because you know they are very thin now let's try it on the let's try it before we decide to uh, set it aside and, and get some regular paper let's try doing it like on a tax yeah see I feel like I feel like uh, and maybe it's just that we're doing it in brown. So let's try doing it in black and see if we get a better result. I also ordered some black archival, whoops, refill. So hopefully this, um, this stamp pad will cooperate. You know how it is. I don't like to replace them all the time. And I feel like, you know, see that it doesn't have enough ink. It's making me crazy. Let me get my other one. I have more than one ink pad, but I this is my latest one. This is the newest ink pad. And it's not like I stamp every day. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my big one and see if it's any better. So aggravating. I'm sorry, guys, that I had to get up twice. I'm just going to grab this whole stack and see what happens. I have all my little mini ones, but I don't like to use those for big projects. You know, if I don't have to. But I have these big ones, too. Whoops, I brought my scrubbing pad. Okay, so I'm not throwing these away. and They're not horrible. It's just, you know, they could be better. <laughs> So let's try, let's put this little one up until I can get it inked. Little, little pain. Okay, let's try this big one. I have other one, another big one like this too. I like to use these big stamps. Don't ask me why, I just do, I love them. And um, what did I do with my little, I was gonna try another one on here. Yeah, see, this one has more ink um, than the last one. Let me get. I want to, I, I think it looks nice. This isn't the only one I'm going to stamp. I'm just trying to get some decent ones of this one. Now, see, those are better. I want to be able to tear around them. And to have some room to tear around them. One more. Right here. And I'll try to have them all tore. Or the majority of them torn out before our next video. So we don't have to waste time doing that. How's that? Um, okay. So now... I'm going to get another one I really like is this one. It just looks like weeds and I love I love that look of just looking like weeds. I think that one's stamped better, don't you? And again, I want to be able, oh, I lo look how good they stamp. They just, I'm going to get some white paper so you can see just how wonderful. Let me finish these on here. And then I'll put some on book pages as well. And then I want you to see how good their stamps are. Look at the clarity in that thing. I mean, it's crazy. 
I'll show you with this one too. So, you know, it's not like the stamp's not doing its thing. It's just that they are very, very thin. And uh, I'm going to hang on to that. And I'll show you on other other ones. So, I have my favorite Stampin' Up! ones that I just use for stuff like this. Because I like flowers. And, and I also like Tim Holtz. Um, his flowers also and then i also have some others but i thought we would do these first i want you to see these on on here this is an old um stamping up look at that you can even see the signature the clarity on there is just crazy 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 Oh, I didn't get ink on all of that one. Now that inks a whole lot better on here, but I think it's because I need to find a page that just has a bunch of, um, doesn't have pictures. Well, I guess they all do. <laughs> I want it to be, yeah, see how much better that looks. One more. Let's do it this way. I want to be able to tear around them. Okay, so there's that one. Wipe these off since they're my favorites. I want to take care of them. Okay, we have... We have a couple more. Now, I have not tried this one. We're going to try this one and see how it turns out. Let me find a, pay, a piece of paper. It's just greenery. Just like um, something filler that you'd put in a flower arrangement. I can't think of what they're called, but I really like them. How pretty is that? I like that. Okay, there's that one. And I'm going to put it on some music sheet also. Ooh, that one stamp is getting better and better the darker it gets. Yeah, way better. Wow. Another great Stampin' Up! stamp. I don't represent stepping up. I mean, I'm not. Um, I have one more that I want to stamp from the stamping up ones. So let's try. This is just like a flower cluster on this one. This looks like it's a solid one also. And oh, look at that. I like that too. Get four on here. I also want to do some flourish. This is a flourish. I think it would look, um, be nice just a little bit on, I want to put this a little bit on some just plain paper. That's hard to do with the stack I have, has a bunch of pictures. So, 
guess I'll have to put it on the back. Here's one I can do. This is some of the leftover little women paper. I want to keep the pictures. I have plans for them. I think it does better on the music sheet paper. Yeah, so there we go. All right, so that is um, the last of these. Now, I want to get out Tim Holtz. Let me move these. His, um, everybody knows how wonderful his stamps are. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? Let's do some we don't do that often. You know, I think everybody grabs the same ones. <laughs> we just do that, don't we? We have our favorites. Okay. Let's do this on here. Now, I want to let that sit there for a second. I have to take a swallow, getting dry. Ugh, always perfect. You can count on it to always be perfect. Look how dark that is and how perfect. What makes his different from anybody else's? I don't know. He just, he just has a good people working with him, I guess. That makes a difference when you have people working with you that know how to make them. Oh, didn't get that one quite as dark, but... Now, what I thought, I don't think I have my die that goes with this. I'll have to look and see. I do have the die cuts that, what is the deal? I guess I need to ink the top of it a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. I think the music sheet just does better. Yeah, see, there's something about the difference in the music sheet paper. Yeah, I like that much better, don't you? Okay, so now I want to get out um, a different one. Okay. Got that cleaned off. Let's see. I have not got to use these yet, but I've seen a lot of people use them. But first, let's try this flourish. Sometimes I saw Rachel with Roxy Creations using a flourish on some of her work. And it's just a simple little flourish on there. And it looks so nice. So I thought, ooh, that is pretty. Looks like an L, but it's not. Really, if you do it the right way, you know. I have some more flourishes I might want to try. Let's try it on some page, book page. Yeah, 
this one doesn't disappoint, does it? This was a freebie that I got somewhere. Um, I don't have the name of it. I'm sorry. But, I mean, it's any flourish will work nicely. So, I'm going to take this off so I can put another one on. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I have a whole package of, of them right here. And this is an old stamp I've had forever. I'm trying to see who it's by. Um, doesn't say on there. I must have cut the name off. Whoopsie. But I've had them a long time. I think I bought these used. But I've never used them. <laughs> I bought them used, but I've never used them. So let's use some of the smaller ones on here because... You know, like this one is, is fun. If I can get it off of here. You know, after you've had stamps for a while, they kind of get attached to the stamp page. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Okay. Let's see. If this one's any good, sometimes when you you buy them used, I go to those um, garage sales, you know, that you can go to for scrapbooking. Sometimes people will throw garage sales. Oh, yeah, see, I like the way that looks. This one almost looks like a tree, doesn't it? Let me get some more music sheet out. I have lots of music sheet. Can use all of that I want. Okay, so now let's try one of these others that's on this same sheet. That way we can get some different shapes. So we've got one, kind of looks like an S. Let's do this little one right here. It looks like it's been loved on a few times. I feel like I'm gonna rip it in half when I go to take it off of there. Oh, yeah. I'll be using these more often, guys. I like those. Let me get some more paper here. So, these can be really pretty on as in clusters. I'm just going to fill this page and then move on to something else. Now, <clears throat> I think what we'll do is one more of, oh, let me put this back so I don't lose it. It's going to move on to, um, I think her name is Aozi. I think that's how you say her name. I am not positive. I apologize in advance if it's not correct. Um, let me put this Tim Holtz back also. We've got a mess going here, guys. I've got stuff everywhere. Has anyone bought the Tim Holtz uh, stamp holder book? Um, if you have, let me know what your opinion of it is. I, um, I have no idea. I'm curious about it, but I don't know if one of those little books that are expensive will be enough to hold all my stamps. That's the thing I'm most concerned about in that situation. Now, I have not used these, so you know what they say when you get new stamps, you have to, let me move this out of the way. 
all these that we've stamped. Let me move them for right now. So we can bring on more. Um, they tell you to dirty them up before you use them. So I'm going to get some more paper here. I thought I had more music sheet. Oh, there it is. And some more of that. Okay. So let's just start with this little flower or whatever it is, little weed. Dirty it up. Put it on your arms. You know, because they say the dirtier they are, the better. So when you first stamp them. Oh, nice. If you don't have her stamp, you might want to consider it. Where is the package? I'm real bad at linking stuff, so I'm going to show you. Just simply type in A-Y-O-Z-I-E designs. I think most of you probably know who she is. Um, she does digitals as well and beautiful stamps. She has a set of florals that I don't have, but uh, I've seen that are really pretty too. Let me put some of this on music sheet and I like a little bit of all of them, so when it's time to do it, I don't have to, you know, get my stamps out. Are you guys the same way? I try to, it's kind of like making a big pot of stew. You want to make enough for, you know, several times. <laughs> now, this rabbit, there's no comparing this rabbit to anything else. If I can get him off. He's a big boy. And I can't remember if I've used him already. <laughs> so we'll dirty him up anyway. He doesn't look stained. So I would say I haven't. Um, but that doesn't mean I have, haven't. Does that make sense? I um, get right on there. I'll look and make sure he's picking up the ink. On bigger stamps like this, you've got to really give them an opportunity to get full of stamp, full of ink. Move them around on your ink pad. I just kind of tap them around. You'll know the difference in how, now he's crooked. I put him on there so crooked. Whoa. And I dropped him, but look how cool he is. Let's do him again. Give him the opportunity to show us he's not. That he's a cool stamp. Yeah, I like him. And I need to get a few bunnies stamped anyway. It's going to be Easter before you know it. I uh, need to do some Easter books. I just did some Valentine. Well, I'm calling it lovely and lovely too. Uh, really pretty ones, actually. Some of my favorite work. I say that every time, but it feels like that. He's a big bunny. You're lucky to get two of these on one music page, but this is like a hymnal size. Oh, yes. I love him. Oh, my goodness. I have found a stamp I love. He is adorable. I love bunnies. I have no reason that I love them except that I just think they're so cute and fuzzy. If I had to pick animals that I love, and um, it would be bunnies and deer. Those are my two favorite, and squirrels and chipmunks. But I just think they're so cute. Ah. Oh. Look at how good that stamps, you guys. 
Okay, so we're gonna put it on a regular paper and see what it looks like before moving on to another, to one of the others. The reason I'm doing all these different stamp is because I don't know what I wanna put on my little cardboards. And I know he's crooked too. I forgot, I forget that you have to turn him. <laughs> He is sitting down after all. I go to put him down and he gets put down crooked. Okay. You can get your stamping pads like this. You can get them big and small. I use this one for when I travel from place to place. I want to do one more page of bunnies just because I have a feeling he is going to be one of my new favorite stamps. And with Easter coming, I want to have plenty bunny stamped. Cute, cute, cute little guy. All right. Another perfect stamp set. Now, on here we have a bird, we have an owl, we have a, a flower and we have a bee. I'm gonna stamp the bee a couple times on some of these blank spots. And then we will probably be done stamping and we can see where we're at. In the next video, I want to die cut some um, florals. I'll have to see what I've got. And um, cause I want, I, I want to kind of, uh, he's new also, so I gotta kinda make sure he's covered really good with ink. Oh, I think he is. Oh my goodness, yes, he's, he's actually one cool ant, or not ant, but bee. This paper right here is really old. <laughs> Hopefully he'll hold out on it. It's called the Two Travelers, whatever that is. Let's see. Got a couple spots right there. Might as well not let them go to waste. And one more. All right. Let me wipe him off. The key to taking to having stamps long term is keeping your stamps wiped off. And um, yeah, I love the way these turned out. Okay, guys, let me see how much time we have. We are down to 58 minutes, so what we need to do is, um, we got all the stamps that I wanted to stamp done. So uh, what we'll do is in the next video, these will all be dry, okay? Hopefully, if not, I'm going to make sure they are. And I'm gonna personally dry them until they are done. And then we can, we can use the text on them, okay, we can do um, anything we want on them and um, just decorate them up. I'm thinking we can put some sorry silk and some different things. I'm even thinking, now let's just try this. This will take just a minute. Let me get it open. Let me see which, see which one of these might be dry enough. 
none of those over there. <laughs> this is probably the closest one to being dry. I don't want to run it, but I want to try um, putting some of this Distress Collage Ink on here too. Now, yeah, I'm gonna show you. And then we'll do it more. See how it's going on brown? So we won't have this white background. It looks like these are dry pretty much, but this is just an example of what's to come in the next video. <coughs> Excuse me trying not to cough. You can put this distressed ink on. Um, this is the vintage photo. I'll tell you more about it in the next video. Tim Holtz uh, and Ranger are coming out with some really cool things that, um, that they've cut this year's release. And this is one of them. They've actually been out. This one has been out. But this is, there's going to be different colors, I guess is what I'm saying. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there is that. That I just put on my black pad, which I didn't mean to do. It's all right. It can take a beat and... All right, guys, if you have not um, subscribed and you're watching this video, I hope you go and watch all the others and then make the decision, not based on just this video, to join us and subscribe. And we do all kinds of fun stuff. And I really am leading up to doing some art journaling. So... Um, a series on art journaling. So I want you guys to come along with me. So this is kind of what we're just slowly working our way back into the products and we'll see what happens after that. All right, guys, see you in the next video. This is part one. We'll go to part two next time. Bye.